logical or mathematical thinking. While playing, the child references numbers or displays math concepts. For example, estimation, counting numbers, shapes, sizes, or measurement. Let's watch an example of logical or mathematical thinking. Carefully observe and think about what you see. Why did you use the two little blocks? Because if they connect, see, then we'll get it even further, harder. Or better. <laughs> yes, better. Is that for the shape of your pool? Yes. See, so if, if we connect them, these just look like... Look how I put this... this the same length. That's right. What? Length. It means how long something is. Oh! Did you see examples of logical or mathematical thinking? Take a few minutes to think about this example or discuss amongst your peers. Now let's watch the example again. Notice the child is constructing the boundaries for the shape of her pool. She recognizes that when two smaller blocks are connected, they are the same length as one larger block. The adult engages in reciprocal conversation with the child, first asking an open-ended question about why the child used the two little blocks, then allowing the child to provide a logical and mathematical explanation. After realizing the child correctly understood the math concept, the adult points out that the child has just understood the concept of length. This is how we connect two little blocks together. There we go. Why did you use the two little blocks? Because if they connect, see, then we'll get it even further, harder, or better. <laughs> yes, better. Is that for the shape of your pool? Yes. See, so if, if we connect them, these just look like Look how I put this. this the same. same. Length. That's right. What? Length. It means how long something is. Oh! Okay. Opportunities for understanding math concepts are abundant during block play, especially as part of the design process, when children must make decisions about the mathematical qualities of blocks in order to successfully plan and build their structure. Remember, Mathematical thinking is not just about number and counting with blocks. Other aspects of early quantity can appear, such as length, weight, height, comparing quantities, and understanding patterns and sequences. In addition, children may demonstrate a number of early geometry skills, such as recognizing, comparing, and composing shapes, understanding parts and holes, how large or small an object is, and that shapes have sides.